Today I'm going to unbox two things here. We've got this uh, adapter from Fotse, Fotse, however you want to say it. It's a Canon EOS adapter to uh, Micro Four Thirds, so I can put it on my uh, Panasonic Lumix G7. All right, and this this is an adapter for Canon EOS lenses, and this is a Canon compatible EOS compatible lens from Sigma. It's a 70, a 300 millimeter DG macro, 4.4, f4 to 5.6. We're going to unbox this. So let's start out with this uh, little adapter. First off, this adapter is not active. It's passive, which means that it doesn't hook up the electronics to the camera. So autofocus does not work even though this lens, if you had an active one, would allow the autofocus to work. An active adapter costs about 600 bucks from Metabone, so we're just gonna use this because I'm not gonna use this lens too much, I don't think, but you never know. So let's get to the lens here. Open it up. And a little egg crate here. Get rid of the egg crate. So we've got a lens hood here. And here's the lens itself. It's a pretty big lens. Comes with a cap. It's a super telephoto. And it's got a macro mode. And I'm going to run this all in manual. So let me uh, get my Lumix camera here. Give this a couple spins. All right, so I got my uh, Panasonic Lumix G7 here. Let's go ahead and uh, unscrew this here so we can put this adapter on. Line the dots up here. Turn it, locked into place. So now I can put this on my camera. Guess we're gonna go by this red dot here. Red to reds. All right, so now it's on there. You can see it's a pretty big lens on this little camera. Well, this little camera does a bang up job, so I'm very happy with this camera. So, <clears throat> Let's uh, put this on the tripod and take some shots. Alright, so here's some photos going from 300 millimeter to 70 millimeter, progressively down. It might not be in the best focus because it's pretty tough with the sun to actually get it in focus. I need to figure out a way to be able to do that outside, maybe put something over my head and look at the screen or get a bigger monitor. But uh, I'm no pro, but uh, these pictures are pretty good pictures. And you know, I'm actually going to show you here after this picture. You know, the distance I was, because most people don't ever show, you know, they show the photos, but now here's the setup of how I took those last five pictures. And uh, I'm going to do some more, another uh, set of five, just another angle, some more plants around the house. Another set of going from 300 to 70 millimeter, progressively. And these are a little bit better focused, because I did actually put a cloth over my head but they're still they could be a little bit better and I'm gonna put all the links to these pictures in the description so you can actually download the actual files that I use for this video and review them yourself and here's the setup for the last five set of photos
And now here's some uh, other random shots that I took with this lens. All in all, I'm very happy with this lens, and I prepare to uh, learn how to use it better, but uh, everyone watching this can get the idea of uh, the quality that it does with the Micro Four Thirds adapter and the uh, Lumix G7 camera. Alright, well I hope everybody gets something out of this video. I'm going to put links to all the products that uh, I talked about in the video, all to Amazon links. So, everyone have a wonderful day. Thanks. And don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe to Dakram Studios to see more of our cool videos.